uh, three. Okay. I think, well, actually, it might be two. Two after today. After today. Yeah, like two weeks of school, uh, yeah, of classes. How's it feel? Oh, whatever, it feels great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's wild. We're, we're going to be real people. It, will, it, too, will happen to us. Yeah, I mean, now it's a reality. Uh, yesterday, I was thinking about what it's going to be like when I swim that last race to possibly never race again. And, like, that that's not just a thought, but it's a reality. I don't want to label it as freaking out, but it was like I needed to catch my breath. We went to the OTC right after finals, my sophomore year of college. And so we actually had a pretty sizable postgraduate group at the time. But one of them was Matt Patton. What that guy did for my confidence is really incredible. Like he was talking me up for my freshman year before I was actually doing anything. But I remember one conversation in particular with him. We're at the OTC and I've been dead ever since NC's. Like I, I was training really poorly and I was like, yeah, you know, I think after trials, I'm, I'm just gonna take a month off. Like I'm gonna ask the coaches for a month off and just try to heal my shoulders up. And then like, I won't go to US Open or anything and I'll just start training, getting ready for the next year. Like that's how far away making the team was from my radar slash being on my, you know, goal sheet or whatever. And like, he kind of looked at me, not because he thought I was gonna make the team, but just like, he didn't think that was a good plan. And also surprised to hear that I wanted to take time off. And then so I went from wanting, having this plan of taking time off and really not considering myself at all for making the team to making the team. And now it's like, obviously that is the goal.